This may be my last hunt before it's time to enlist in the Orange Army. And uh, we'll bring out the 450 Bushmaster and see if we can reach out and touch one. All right, well, we found him. Probably took about, what do you think, 70, maybe 80 yards. Yeah. I put my daughter Katie, the blood tracker on him. And uh, those rage just, they shred. Uh, the blood trail was uh, easy. And uh, it's my best, best deer yet. It's a 10 point, it's got one fresh uh, broken point there, so it makes it a nine, but super nice. And uh, thanks for watching. Cousin Matt, I didn't introduce him, but that was what happened. Uh, last night, this guy came in. Uh, and we weren't really prepared 
the way it came, the angle it came. So by the time we got prepared, it was kind of around some trees. We had to wait for it to get out of some brush. Uh, when I shot, I believe that the arrow deflected off of um, some branches and ended up hitting it in the back. Um, but Rage Broadhead uh, still took it down 50 to 60 yards. We ended up finding it, so it all worked out. There she is, first doe that I've shot with the 450 Bushmaster on the AR platform. Uh, like I said, had those five doe come through. The first one I couldn't tell the size, so I was going to wait. This was the biggest one of the group that I could tell. So I decided to go ahead and use my doe tag, and I'm going to go ahead and donate this one. And I will see y'all on the next episode. Yeehaw! Sat pretty much all day from the eat for the evening hunt about 2 30 on we didn't really see anything up until probably the last half hour and we saw a couple deer on the neighbor's property we uh, watched and probably uh, 10 minutes before um, shooting light was done we saw these coming right through uh, to our right maybe 30 yards and we had a split second decision to make and I ended up taking this one right down. So dropped and I guess it tried getting back up. I didn't really see it, but tried getting back up and fell right back down. So got the job done.